Yes. Yeah. In the context of uh, mass media being a driver of uh, industry and consumption in the 20th century, I wonder if you can comment on perhaps the lessening effectiveness of advertising due to just oversaturation of people becoming more media savvy? Um, I, think, I think our relationship with advertising is very interesting because it's, it's at the very heart of the kind of big tottering edifice of, of commercial content production, yeah, certainly historically. And at the same time as individuals, I'm sure everybody in this room has a very skeptical relationship with advertising. So even we who, who produce based on its revenues, I'm sure walk out of the room when the advertising co comes on and all have PBRs and skip through it and da 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 da. But at the same time, we're kind of addicted to it because we don't know what else is going to, is going to pay. Um, in, in the UK, uh, across the European Union, we would hope that advertiser-funded programming, so direct relationships between producer and advertisers in a more sympathetic way than short, than, than bumper breaks inside, um, inside programs will be one of the ways that we will solve this problem. But of course, we, we all, I, I suspect that what happens then is that the broadcaster jumps into that relationship and says, look matey, I've always had the relationship with the advertiser and I'll still have the relationship with the advertiser and I'm gonna take 20% off the advertising income and then I'll give it to you and you can make, use it to top up the gap in your program and there'll be no extra profit to you and it's not gonna change the business model and it's certainly not going to represent any kind of liberation. It may be as different for product placement um, across the European Union, the, the, um, the Union itself has indicated that it's going to open up to product placement inside programs, but how that will be done will be left to every, every individual country. Now, this is something, I guess, that a commercial production company like us really wants to encourage, both online and, and on, on um, television. Um, but unfortunately, the British government has said, over our dead body, and of course, because the European Union does not insist on any kind of conformity of legislation in this area, it's going to present its own problems for a globalized company like us because the legislation is likely to be different from country to country across our prime European heartland. I don't know of anything better than advertising, to be honest, as a funding um, model. And of course, we can all say, well, good advertising is great entertainment. And that's also true. But I don't know anybody who really pays to go and see advertising. 